Today we're doing another blind tasting from Tavor. We are going to have beers in front of us and we're gonna go ahead and taste them and figure out what they are. We are not gonna be the ones pouring the beer. Peter's wife is back there. She's gonna pour them in glasses. We're gonna taste them, try to guess which one is which. And at the end, we're gonna show you all the cans and which ones were actually which ones. We're also gonna be adding in a rating. So let's go ahead and start with our first pour. By the way, we did not pick any of these beers from Tavor. We actually asked them to send us a blind tasting box. So a box where we don't know what's going on and uh, that we can do this and kind of try to guess, so. Could be clap claps. It's a hazy, for sure. This is definitely a hazy IPA. Uh, citrus, tropical fruit, something like a, a. There's like a meaty fruit in there, like a. Like jackfruit. Yeah, it's got like a little bit of that uh, kind of flavor to it. But it it's. A lot, of, a lot of grassiness, too. It does have grassiness. It's not super weed like, though. It's not like a. No. So we know it's a hazy. Yeah, so we, we guess the style, probably, most likely. Overall, out of five, I will give this a a solid 4.2. Uh, I'm not the biggest IPA fan, but this is really good, so I'm gonna I'll give this a four. Four, nice. We failed. What? Double dry hopped wheat pale. That threw us so much. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm not gonna call that a complete fail because a wheat beer, a high adjunct, hazy load. That's not double that dry hopped. Double dry hopped. <laughs> Why? I was wondering why, because the, the biggest thing that threw me was the oils weren't like as heavy and like, sometimes they overcoat my mouth. I'm like, ah, oh, it's a little bit less of a hop load. So. Yeah, and it wasn't really attacking my taste buds as I would expect with an IPA, so that's why I thought it was just much more mild. Yeah, double dry hop wheat peel. I think that's just a lazy man's IPA, I don't know. <laughs> I think we're in the same range. On to number two. I'm guessing Pilsner by the look of it. Ooh, okay. A little bit of warm up, it gets some banana on the nose. But it's not hop aroma. So no. that's Pilsner's kind of out on that one. I could, oddly enough, I could see this being a fest beer, like a Vienna style fest beer, Vienna lager, but on the very, very light side. The malt profile is there. As you taste it, that biscuit cracker kind of builds. I don't know if I can really get the hops out of this. I th the water profile tastes like a mineral, like tastes like a Pilsner. All right, I'm landing Pilsner, but it's made by an American brewery. Okay, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to say Pilsner too. I'm just confused. Italian pills, ah! <laughs> Westbound Italian pills, dry hopped Pilsner from Westbound and down. Okay, so knowing the style, I I can't give this a perfect, it's a good beer, it's a very drinkable beer. If I didn't know the style, if the style fit a little bit better, I'd be like, mm. but knowing the style, I have to give this, I don't think I can give it below a four out of five. This is still a really good beer. It, it is really good. I just wish that the aroma pushed forward more. Yeah, I'll give this one like a 3.8. Really good, but... Super good beer. It's just something about the dry hop. Maybe I just don't like Italian filters. It also still has that grassiness in it. Yeah. So it's got that, that dry hop. There's some particles in there that are sitting on the palate. All right, now for the third beer. Look-wise, I see some fruit. My th first thought is Hefeweizen, haziness, and color but it looks like there is a stratification, so I think there's some fruit component to this without smelling it or diving into it. That's nice and sour. This is sour. It's got some sweetness to it, too. It's, it's not got, like biting my cheeks. It's got like a yogurty fruitiness to it, so. Yeah, yogurty. But what for, so I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess this is brewed raw. I'm gonna guess it's made of lactobacillus plantarum, like good belly style lactobacillus. What flavor is that? Strawberry? Some kind of berry. Maybe like raspberry? I'm gonna guess a strawberry banana sour. I don't know if the banana is there, but the banana is there in the fermentation if it's not there in the actual fruit. I'm gonna guess this is a raspberry sour. What is that? Transient artisan ales. Peach, apricot, strawberry, milk sugar, and vanilla. Yeah, the milk sugar and vanilla is, I mean, that kind of leans into the the sweetness that's there. And yeah, you, I was wondering what that sweetness was. That didn't seem right. Yeah. Or just a regular sour. It wasn't a classic, like, dry and tart and buildy. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, the sour isn't really attacking me. It's very subtle. It's like blending in with that sweetness. What a conniving little sour. Uh, overall, on this one, I mean, it's pretty much everything I would want off that style. Yeah, this is really good. I'll give this, like, 4.8. I'm going to say 4.5. Transient, give me more of this. I'll drink all of it. Send it to us. Uh, Ryan will make a t-shirt of it and wear it. I will. All right, here comes number four. Number four and our final beer. Number four and our second to final beer. 
Um, on the look, I'm gonna say Blondale. It's just my guess. Maybe Kolsch. It smells like a cerveza. It's almost smoky though. Yeah, a little bit. I had to sneeze and then I smelled this and my sneeze went away. Uh, it, for me, okay, in my brain, two beers that I'm connecting this to, uh, Trace Agave from Avery and uh, Stone's, Buena what's Vesa? the name? Yeah, Buena Vesa. Like if those two had a baby, this would be that This beer. is This is very cerveza profile. Yeah, there's a sweet component to whatever that yeah, is. Yeah, on that back end aftertaste, it really like just hangs out. I have no idea what I'm getting into. I'm kind of guessing a cocktail themed beer though. What's a cocktail with coconut and lime? A pina colada flavor. All right, final answer, pina colada cerveza. Yep, I'm gonna go with that. That's probably not right, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say pina colada blonde. I'm gonna go cerveza. This is a uh, Siempre Explorando con Lima, Mexican style lager with lime. It says nothing about coconut. <laughs> it's it's nothing about coconut. Where the coconut comes from. <laughs> but Mexican style lager with lime. Why was Josh saying I'm bad at tasting? I literally guessed cerveza before I tasted it. <laughs> I'll give this a 4.5. Random blind taste, I'm probably up there with you, 4.5, maybe maybe higher. Random blind taste. Um, but not knowing that there's nothing else in there, I'm wondering where the extra earthiness, woodiness comes from that makes me think coconut. So, I don't know, 4.1. All right, last one. Um, My stomach's getting full. Amber, red. Amber color, yeah, it's got some cloudiness to it. Coffee is in there, that's for sure. <clears throat> oh yeah, heavy coffee. There's not a lot of extra build around the body on there, but it's not obtrusive. It's not like one beer plus coffee. This is very much like the coffee's meant to go in the beer. That's nice. Yeah. It doesn't taste, it tastes like how coffee smells. Yes. It's really pleasant. And there's not a lot of beer flavors that are intruding on the coffee profile. No, they all work together really well. They're not really like fighting for the for the palate. So coffee, we're calling it a coffee red, final answer? Yeah, definitely. Brown ale with coffee. Brown ale with coffee. Man, we suck. I'll fight them on that. That is a red. That That's red. I'm colorblind and that's red. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm expecting some of the color of the brown to come from coffee. And so I mean, the, I think the body of this is definitely built like a red, but it, uh, it doesn't matter. It's a really good beer. Yeah, it's delicious. Overall on this, I gotta give this one like a, say 4.4 out of five. I got this on 4.2. The the flavor blending is incredible on this. Like yeah. all those go together like super super well. Keep in mind that all like all these beers, none of them came in at a lower rating. Like all these beers were delicious and oh phenomenal, super drinkable. So. If you ever have the chance to drink them, definitely do so. Well, thanks, <laughs> Tev Ward for sending us a lot of free good beer. That was awesome. Uh, we appreciate you. We appreciate these beers. Uh, all these were super good. If any breweries from these beers want to reach out, reach out to us and send us more free beer. Um, we'll drink them. We will drink them. On a camera. If you want us to, I guess. But I'm super happy that Tavor sent us all these. Uh, we'll link Tavor in the description below. Um, follow our Instagram, follow our Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Subscribe. Follow Ryan on just, just around. Yep, do that. If your super friend's comment gives us the most likes on that video or on your comments, then we'll make that video next time. Uh, cheers, Matt. Thank you, wife, for helping out with this. We'll see you guys next time.